do you feel like today's ceremony has a renewed sense of energy following the sag after strike from last year? Oh my God, absolutely. I mean, you can feel it out here. Everybody is ready to celebrate. Everybody's looking forward to this next year, taking advantage of the wins and the, and the new sense of um, collective energy that we've got going into this. So it's just a great night to celebrate, feeling it. What does it mean to celebrate actors tonight after last year's sag after strike Well, one of the big things that we talked about throughout the strike was the importance of the humanity that we bring into the room when we go to work. And tonight we celebrate the people who, like, bring a human face to these films and bring their souls to these films. And uh, I'm convinced that's never going to go out of style. That's never going to be replaced. So it's fun to celebrate it. Since we are celebrating actors and acting, what role got you your SAG card? My SAG card, I was, um, it was a show called Snoops. And uh, I was a college student, and my line was, he's over there, professor. And you'll never forget it. I will never forget it. (laughs) There have been so many amazing films released this past year. Do you have a favorite film in this award season race? I've got two. Oppenheimer, just because it's it's so gorgeous. It's it's like an exploration of humanity and science and hard choices that we face and the unknowns and life and death and big picture and what is God and what is man. I mean, it's big. And then American fiction, because the smaller, just smaller version of the same kind of deep questions about who we are, how do we make who we are, and how do we want to live our lives. Those two. Plus, I love Jeffrey Wright. He's an old friend, so it's great to see him having his moment. It's amazing. Is there anybody else you're excited to see here tonight at the SAG Awards? When I heard Idris Elba's here, so yeah, a little bit of that would be nice. (laughs) And in your role at the Guild, what are your hopes for the union in 2024, especially after the strike? Well, I um, was elected vice president uh, during our last convention, October, and we got cut short to go back to the negotiating table. So I feel like I'm taking this office at the beginning of a brand new kind of restructuring, reinvigoration, reimagining of who we are and what we can be so that we are facing the future uh, with energy that's for today. So um, that's part of the challenge in front of us and part of the opportunity in front of us. Looking forward to it.